Okay, now let's solve this problem again. This problem says that the uniform beam has a mass of 50 kg per meter of the length. Determine the reactions and the support. So now the mass is given per unit length. So let me write that the small m is the mass per unit length. So this is 50 kg per meter. Now let's say that this small m is the mass per unit length. So the total mass will be this small m multiplied by L. So that will give us that in kgs, right? So capital M, the total mass is 50, small m is, this is 50 kg per meter and the length is 2.4 plus 1.2. So 2.4 plus 1.2 is 3.6. Let's confirm 2.4 plus 1.2, this is 3.6. So we will multiply this with 3.6. This is meters. So meter will cancel out and we will get the weight in kg. So this is 50. This is 50 multiplied by 3.6. This gives us 180. So the total mass of the beam is 180 kgs. So now and that this mass will be acting at the center at the mid length of the beam. So the, mid, the total length is 3.6 so the mid length is 1.8. So somewhere here the weight is going to act somewhere here that is less than 2.4 so that is 1.8 so it will be somewhere here. This is one a uh, this is weight and this is 180 times 9.81 and this distance this must be the half of 3.6 the total length so this is 1.8 meters and now this box has a mass of 300 kg so its weight is going to act at its center so its weight is going to act vertically downward somewhere here and this is 300 times 9.81. And from this end, uh, this weight is acting at 1.2 meters. So from that end, that will be 3.6 minus 1.2. The total length is 3.6. So 3.6 minus 1.2, that is 2.4, that is given. So this is 2.4. Now at A, uh, the surface is going to apply the normal force on this roller support. So this is an A. And let's say that an B is acting in the upward direction as well. So this is an B. Now we have to find these reactions and A and B. So again if I apply the summation of moment about point A this will be equal to 0 since the system is in equilibrium. The counterclockwise moment is positive. So this and B is producing the counterclockwise moment. So I will write plus and B and the perpendicular distance of this and B from that point A is the total length of the beam which is 3.6. So I multiply this with 3.6. The weight is going to produce the clockwise moment about that point A. I will write minus weight is 180 into 9.81 and perpendicular distance of this weight from that point A is 1.8. So I will multiply this with 1.8 and similarly the weight of the box is going to produce the clockwise moment as well. So I will write minus this is 300 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point A is 2.4 meters which is the moment arm of this uh, weight of the box. So we will multiply this with 2.4, this 2.4 and this is equal to 0. And now if I bring these two terms to the other side of the equation, so we will have mm, the sign will become positive. So we will have the equation like this and if we divide both sides of the equation by 3.6, so we will get NB. So this is dividing both sides of the equation by 3.6 so this will give us an B reaction. So this is 180 multiply by 9.81 multiply by 1.8 plus 300 multiply by 9.81 multiply by 2.4 divided by 3.6. This gives us 2844.9. So this is the problem. Let, let's, let me write it as 2844.9 newtons. 
these are in newtons this is in newtons and this is in newtons so we will get this and b in newtons as well or we can say that this is approximately 28 45 newtons now if we apply the summation of forces along the vertical that is in the y direction this is our positive y so the summation of forces along y this will be equal to 0 this is our positive y direction so an a is acting in the positive y so i will write plus an a minus this weight which is 180 9.81 minus the weight of the box 300 into 9.81 and plus n b and b is acting in the positive y direction so this is plus n b and this is equal to 0. Now n b is known we can write that n b is 2845 this is equal to 0 so this is uh, minus 180 into 9.81 minus 300 into 9.81 plus 28.45 this gives us 1863.8 so n e is this is with minus sign so this is minus 1863.8 this is equal to 0 or we can say that n a is 1863.8 newtons and this is acting in the upward direction similarly this is also acting in the upward direction so this is the reaction at a which is 1863.8 or we can say that an a is approximately 1864 newtons and and b is approximately 2845 newtons